so this is my game which is called as ban soko so if i run it you can see we got a little character here so if i move up you can see we are moving in a grid and we can move these boxes as well you can see we can fit them so this character controller it's pretty easy to create so we are going to do that so let's get started so let's do that so first of all what we need to do in our script so we need to define some player input so we can directly do that with input dictionary so we can directly define them using input so i'm going to set this as move up and we can directly define as vector to dot up and we can just copy paste these and we can make it move left move down move right and same thing here but in capital so we move left move down and move right so we got uh, every move here now we just need to do function unhandled input event so you get you guys can see we just need this here so we are going to use for direction in input dot keys which are the keys we need to check if any of these are pressed if these are pressed then we need to move into that direction so that's the basic uh, explanation for that and now we just need to create a move function uh, which is pretty simple we just need to move the character so we can directly move the character by using the direction here so we can just set the velocity equals to direction times inputs slash direction um not direction times we need something called input direction times speed we can do that but instead of a speed we will use something called as dial size so we need to define something called as constant dial size here not dial set should be dial size and this sheet this is 16 so if you guys don't know this each tile is a 16 by 16 tile so that's why we are going to set the velocity by input direction times tile size now if i run the scene here you guys should be able to see that but there is another problem here which is we don't have input maps come configure so we need to go that here and we need to configure each input map so we need to set this as move up move down move left move right and for the move up i'm going to make it w for the move down i'm going to make it s and for the move right or maybe left we need to go a and for the move right we need to go press um, not f um, this one not f d okay so this is the basic wasd um, thing here now let's run the game here let's see how it works okay so if i am pressing it nothing is happening and why it is not happening um let me see i think we need to do it like variable um vector position and basically we need to set this vector position to the player position so we need to set this as position uh, plus equals to vector position and now if i run the scene here again um now let's just do yep so now you can see we got a very simple grid based movement 
and now uh, if you want something like animation so we can also do that so think it like this is the vector position basically this is the target position and we are moving the player towards this target you can also do that with using lerp so if i use something like lerp if you don't know you can see we also got lerp function here if i click on lerp you will be able to uh, you can see lerp angle and this is lerp okay so you can also do that so we can use twin here so twins are very easy so we can just create a twin here so we can to create twin and we are going to use twin dot property so we can just set this twin dot twin property not twin sub twin we need to use twin dot twin property and we need to use the self as the current object which is our player and what we need to uh, change we need to change the position of the player so we can directly or maybe you can also change the scale of the player so we can directly change the scale so from the scale um, we we can do this as vector 2 and we also need to change it the position of the player equals to vector position and i also want this tween to change the vector from that to one comma one which is the original so now if i run the scene here um you can as can see this is too much of a wobble here so we can reduce that as well by setting this uh, thing we can make it 1.8 and we can make it 1.2 so this should be 0 0.8 and this should be 1.2 that's it guys so we got our basic character movement ready and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and yeah so this is working pretty fine and if you want a very smooth transition between one tile to another tile you can do that using move towards function or maybe you can use twins okay so if you maybe if you want to do that with twins what you can do and then now you can also use it with other twin animation so that's it guys that's a pretty good tutorial for you guys so thanks for watching if you like this um, video please do subscribe